Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival. In the last episode, we got out of that giant cave that we were in in episode, I believe it was 17. And we also started working on the upstairs. And I think that was pretty much it for that. And, um, yes, so I did quite a lot of stuff off screen. I don't even know where to begin. Uh, let's see. I guess I can start off by saying, well, I was going to say I pretty much moved everything out of here, but there's still a crap ton of cobblestone and dirt in there. Um, but I moved most of my stuff inside. As you can see, this is just, uh, wood and other random blocks. And this is, this, this chest right here is strictly for cobblestone, as you can see, which is freaking incredible how I have a whole chest full of cobblestone. And I have even more out here. What is that? Like another eight or nine stacks right here? Oh, yeah, that's ten stacks. And probably like maybe 15 or 16 stacks of uh, dirt. So, you might be wondering how I got all of that dirt. Well, if we head downstairs, you will see. There, there's your answer. There is your answer. Um... Now, some of you guys might be wondering what this is. Well, this is the, uh, this is going to be the chicken, the chicken coop house, where all the chickens live. And, uh, I, I am ready. I am ready to have a bunch of lag in my basement, but, you know, it's all worth it. It is all worth it. But, yeah, so this is what I've been working on for the past... Uh, well, I worked on it for two hours after I got home today, and I think I worked on it, yeah, I worked on it two other times, two other days, which is freaking crazy. Um, yeah, so a lot of work's, a lot of work has been going into this. Um, the chickens obviously are going to be down here. They're going to be fenced in, in the middle um, I'm putting fences in so they don't glitch into the wall or, you know, they don't suffocate in the wall when I spawn into the world. Kind of like what's happening, uh, here. Oh, this is awkward. I'm in a cave. What the? It's gonna look something like that. You guys see nothing. <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, that's, I'm gonna have them in, uh, Surrounded by fences so they don't suffocate in the wall. And, uh, yeah, I still have to dig down one more layer here. So we're going to be this ground level because I think that's six blocks right now. This is six blocks deep, right? Yeah. So, ah, oh, crap, that's right. Then this is going to be screwed up. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, the main reason why I'm doing that is because, as you can see, there's all this crap in the ceiling. This is right over here. This is where the uh, lighting is in the front of the house. I decided to use blocks. I made a few redstone blocks. And I just decided to place these down. Because they're a lot easier to place on the torches. This was a little area where I was just AFKing. Uh, waiting for all of this grass to grow. Which, I'll show you guys right now how I did this. Um, as you can probably see in here... I had, well, I had a staircase that led all the way up to the surface. This is near the, uh, the nether portal. Yep. And, uh, I just waited for all the grass to come down. And eventually the grass came down to there. And, uh, yeah. Now we have grass down here because... I didn't have a silk touch pick or a shovel or anything, so I had to just do it the uh, old-fashioned way and uh, just let the grass grow by itself, and that's pretty much what that was for. Um, what else? What else? Now, in this episode, what I want to go do is go to the nether and try to get some quartz, because I'm, I want to use quartz around the perimeter. Of the, uh, let me show you. It's, it's hard to explain, God. 
I'm going to use it around the perimeter up here all the way around and on the bottom all the way around. And uh, yeah, it'll give it a nice outline. And then I'm probably going to have a little bit of spruce wood and a lot of red wool. And that, that'll be pretty much it. I think and then I'll probably have chests all around this with uh, you know with like chicken and uh, maybe some furnaces so we can cook the chicken and whatnot so it's gonna be a big chicken factory that's what it's going to be and uh, on this side I have all of the you know ingredients for some farming you know planting some trees got some melon pumpkin and regular seeds got some bone meal wheat and sugar cane and obviously right here is where I have all of my food. Speaking of food, I need to get more steak. And now let me go ahead and explain this pick. So what I decided to do, as you can see, it's an efficiency three, I'm breaking three. Uh, what I did was I made probably maybe six or seven, or maybe even more, I'm not sure, uh, iron pickaxes, and I enchanted them with a level one trying to get efficiency one and I'm breaking one and I was using the anvil as you can see this thing's pretty much destroyed over here I was using the anvil to uh, obviously you know I'd get I'm breaking one one I'm breaking one pick put that in there then get an, an efficiency pick get that there then it would be efficiency one I'm breaking one then what I would do is I'd get another one I'd make another I'm breaking one efficiency one I'd put both of them in there I'd get efficiency two I'm breaking two and then what I would do is I would make another I'm breaking two efficiency two. Then I'd put both of them in there, and then I would get this. So that's pretty much how I did that. And uh, as you can see, that's almost broken. It's actually a fairly fast pickaxe, and it's not bad. But all right, so enough about what I did off screen, and let's go ahead and go do some stuff in this episode. So I don't understand why I'm carrying around so many arrows. I only need like five. Five, there we go. And we'll put the rest in there. I know I have some more down in that chest down there. As a matter of fact, what I think I should go ahead and do is see how many eggs I have down here. If I have any. Wow, surprisingly I don't. There's what three stacks in there? Yep. It's exactly three stacks in there. Uh what I also need to do is start collecting wool from these sheep again. There's a lot of sheep in the uh at least in my little area going on over here, there's you know sheep all around this place, so that's definitely a good thing. But uh, I think we're gonna go ahead, go to the Nether, and uh, just mine a bunch of quartz. Oh, what the? F what the fuck? What? Um, can someone please explain what the hell just happened? The sad part is that wasn't planned whatsoever. What the hell just happened? Okay, uh, God, I think this is going to make another nether portal now. Is it? What the hell just happened? I I am so confused right now. I I don't know why the hell there were what. That was like what four creepers in here. I I don't know. Let me uh let me get rid of this portal now since this is useless. Let me just speed up this part because it's gonna take a little while to mine all of this obsidian obsidian but thankfully I have this beautiful efficiency 4 I'm breaking 3 pick and it doesn't take us long okay well now I don't really remember what I was talking about which is pretty unfortunate uh Hmm, I wasn't expecting to uh, come to the nether and get blown up by uh, four creepers, but hey, you do what you gotta do. Alright, so now that the uh, 
Creeper Mafia just blew me up. Let's go ahead and... I guess we'll head back to the house and get rid of this obsidian. Uh, and then I guess we'll just go ahead and look for some... Uh, some of the beautiful quartz. How many do I have right now? I think I have like 15, right? Yeah, 15. Um... Hmm, I don't know how much I'm going to need. I'm probably going to need a good amount. Oh, and I I don't think I explained this chest. Obviously, as you can see from this one, this is just where all the loot is. So we got gunpowder, rotten flesh, bones, strings, spider eyes, the ender pearl, slime balls, and leather. So pretty much just mob drops in there. Pretty simple stuff. And if anyone was interested on the dimensions for this room, the room is 25 by 25. I, uh... Oh my god, it's a festival down here now. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, I honestly didn't like the way the room looked. The room looked too... Too, like, thin. So this is this is the way it looked before. It was uh it was originally it was twenty one blocks along this way. And uh I guess it'd be wide. And then the uh I don't I don't know, but it's it was twenty one blocks, so from here, the start block to that stone block right there, and I believe it went all the way to 18. So it was 18 blocks long. So I decided just to go ahead and say, screw it, might as well just make it 25 by 25. And um, the reason why I'm going to go down a block here is so I can have some nice texture for the ceiling. Which, I want you guys to leave a comment on what I should use for the ceiling, because I'm not too sure right now. And... I don't want any of this stuff dripping through the ceiling because it looks annoying and weird. So that's why I'm doing it. Yeah, let me know what uh what block I should use for the ceiling. And uh if I get any good suggestions, I will use them. But alright, let's head over to the nether. Hopefully not get blown up by some creepers. And uh we will get some quartz. And I think that's probably all we'll do this episode. I mean Next episode, we're definitely going to be working on the, we're going to be working on the design of the room, obviously, but uh, this episode, we're kind of collecting some of the resources that we're going to need, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and speed up through this part, and uh, once I have a good amount, I think I'm going to... Uh, Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Hmm. We need to go check that out soon. There's a crap ton of quartz over there. Damn. All right. Um, yeah, in the next episode, we're probably going to start working on making the uh, making the room look nice. But uh, other than that, I think we're going to go ahead and just speed this part up. And uh, we'll take it from there. We'll probably maybe place down the perimeter on uh, where this stuff will go and I'll show you and I want you guys to tell me what you guys think and uh, other than that I will see you guys in a few minutes let me just collect probably two stacks of these beautiful beautiful looking nether quartz and uh, we'll take it from there so I will see you guys in just a few minutes a few seconds for you you know a few minutes for me Okay, I am going to say that that those quartz up there are booby trapped and they are not worth getting. Screw that.
All right, so I think about now we have a good amount of quartz. So I think what we're going to go ahead and do is just see how many we can make here. All right, so we got 55. And let me just get this. Okay. 56. Hmm. Oh, well, didn't even see this over here. All right, so we are level 30, which is not really a surprise. This stuff is so easy to collect and you get so much experience from it. It's kind of like a given. It's another reason just to come to the nether to get some free experience. That's why. Oh, great. Come again. All right, so now let's head back to the house now and we're going to see if we have enough of this stuff we're gonna place it down and uh, that probably will wrap up the episode all right so I think we came from over here I think did we I don't, I don't know Aha, there we go. Alright, let me just get this over here. Cause it's kind of out in the open. Okay. Okay, there we go. We got 58 now. Alright, so I think we probably will have enough to do. I'm gonna say most of it. So, uh. Yeah, let's go get that done. And then in the next episode, we're going to go looking for some sheep. We're probably going to get maybe half a stack of wool. And um, what else? What else do we need? Wood, I can just easily get off screen. That's just as simple as chopping down a tree. <laughs> Which I uh, made a video on if you're interested. How to chop down a tree. Go check that out. Uh, what else do we need? Oh, yes. What do you guys think I should use for the walls? That's another thing. Eh? Eh? Give me some suggestions on what I should use for the walls. Alright, so what I'm going to need to do for now is I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to have to go around here because I still have to dig down. Dig down one. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I'm just going to fast forward through this. And we'll take it from there in just a second. Alright, I think I might have underestimated how much we're actually going to need here. Because <laughs> I am barely going to be able to get this done. I don't even think I'm going to be able to. Yeah, not going to happen. Yeah, I kind of underestimated how many quart blocks I'm going to need. Hmm. I'm at least going to need another 64. Wow. <laughs> that went by pretty fast. Bam. Alright, well, uh... I guess I have some more work to do off screen. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, the next episode, we're going to go ahead and continue working down here. Obviously, we have a lot more to do down here. Um, so I want, I want you guys to uh, tell me what you guys think I should use for the ceiling and for the walls and other than that thank you guys for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys later